Let's take a deeper dive into the cyber kill chain with detailed realistic examples. Stage one, reconnaissance. Imagine a hacker conducting open source intelligence gathering. They trawl through the target company's digital footprint, websites, social media, public records. They're compiling a dossier of employee names, email addresses, and system information. This data forms the backbone of their targeted attack strategy. Moving to weaponization. The hacker now uses this intel to develop a malware, specifically a Trojan. They might leverage existing malware kits or develop something new, ensuring it's tailored to exploit known vulnerabilities in the target software. This malware is a digital weapon, poised to infiltrate and compromise the target systems. Then delivery, often via phishing. The hacker sends spear phishing emails to selected employees. These emails are carefully crafted, using gathered intel to appear legitimate, perhaps mimicking internal communications. The emails entice employees to download the Trojan, disguised as a routine software update. The exploitation phase is critical. Once the Trojan is unwittingly installed by an employee, it activates, exploiting vulnerabilities within the operating system or software. This exploitation is the breach point, allowing unauthorized access to the network. Installation follows. The Trojan, having established a foothold, discreetly downloads additional tools or malware. This could include rootkits for deep access, keyloggers for data theft, or other malicious software to expand the attacker's control and evade detection. Next, the command and control phase. The malware establishes a covert channel back to the attacker's server. This connection, often encrypted, allows the attacker to remotely command the malware, turning the infected system into a puppet. This stage is vital for maintaining long-term access and orchestrating further attacks. Finally, actions on objectives. The attacker's goals can vary, data exfiltration, encrypting data for ransom, or even laying groundwork for a larger, more destructive attack. For example, they might siphon off sensitive corporate data, intellectual property, or, or personal information, often using this stolen data for financial gain or strategic advantage. In summary, understanding each stage of the cyber kill chain, from OSINT gathering to the final execution of the attack objectives, is crucial for developing robust cybersecurity strategies and defense mechanisms. Do you agree with us?